here is the Vanderlei Silva, the expert of any watch MMA show. Welcome to the MMA show, I'm the Muscle Mo. Master Y. Thanks, Vandalay. And as usual, we've got. B from the CP. Oh, Vandalay Silva, ladies and gentlemen. Vandalay oh. Silva. For anybody who hasn't seen it, check out the interview. We met him recently. Top guy. You can check that on uh, the videos next to this on YouTube or on the MMA show.info. So, what we are all about now, we're all about UFC 122. Where is it? I believe it's in Germany. Full of Germans. Oh yes. The last German card was a blood fest. A blood fest. I think the pretty much recently the British and European cards have been pretty weak, but we'll hope for some good fights in this one. And I think, I think definitely the headline event will live up to that. Nate Marquardt versus Yushin Okami. <sighs> Master Wang, talk to me. Nate Marquardt. There's a fantastic video um, on the on the internet where a guy having back chat with Nate Marquardt all about the whole thing about Greg Jackson's camp. They're boring, they're game players, they're safe. Nate Marquardt is that, I think, ultimate MMA guy. He is rounded everywhere, he's strong in every area of the game. But, I think Yushin Akami has a wee bit more of a risk in him, and a wee bit more hunger to get back and beat Anderson I think, again. I think a lot of the, the Greg Jackson camp are boring, but I don't think Nate Marquardt's one of them. In fact, I think he was actually too aggressive against Chael Shonen, and that's what cost him the fight. Every time he got he back up, he wanted to punish Shonen, and, and then he got took back down again. I think if he's not careful, the same thing could happen against Okami, because he's also a really good wrestler. So I see him, but he did say that himself in an interview. He's got to be really cautious. It's not about looking good, it's about the result for us because at the end of the day, this is going to be number one contender, so no messing around, get the job done, which is good. Having said that though, Yushin Okami, really underrated guy, really big guy, naturally big, no, like Marquard weightlifting, but... He's not just big, he's bloody good. Oh, I don't a, a lot of people underestimate, they just think, because Japanese guys are not at the peak of uh, UFC MMA, the Japanese are good, and this guy is a big. He's, he's not. He's not just good. Japanese he's, guy. He's got nat. He's got. A, he's a natural fighter, I think, because you've seen it in his fight against uh, Mark Minos or whatever you call him. He get dropped. Instinct straight away, double leg straight down. And when he get took down, he was up. We seen that with Brock the other night there. Brock really struggled with getting hit. He, c he couldn't work on instinct, whereas Okami did, and for that reason, I'm going to go Yushin Okami. What's your pick, Master? Yushin Okami. No like us to agree, but we have. Well, the gentleman next fight up is uh, Jorge Rivera versus Alessio Saviola. Uh, for those speaking any language, including English, <laughs> that was <laughs> Jorge Rivera versus Alessio Sakara. Now, this is going to be a stand up battle. I think we're both agreed in that. I think it's going to be almost the kickboxer versus the boxer, long rangey guy versus a slightly shorter stocky guy. Interesting fight. How do you see it panning out? Oh, I think Alessio Sakara's tattoos are absolutely fantastic. Every time he's getting a Legionaris. He's obviously traditionally a boxer, but he has moved and is now training full time with the American top team in Florida. Fantastic camp. They've got Alves, Diago Alves, they've got uh, Brown, the wee featherweight. Oh, right, I don't. Uh, WC, but UFC. Um, so they've got all that sort of good, uh, good quality guys. Man's knowledge is Conan Silva area. I do believe is the head trainer there. So I, I think he's got a fantastic camp. But after seeing Nate Quarry and uh, Jorge bashing it out, it's going to be really interested. And I'm not really bothered about who's going to win. I don't think this is one of the very few fights I couldn't care less who yeah. wins either. I just want to watch it. it. No, they're both in three fight win streaks. Uh, but they both haven't fought any on side either, due to a lot of family reasons for both of them. They were scheduled to fight at UFC 118, Jorge Rivera pulled out. I tend to think that when I watched the Nate, uh, Nate Quarry fight, I don't know why he chose to stand with him. He's a good grappler, but he decided he was going to stand up and just get his ass kicked. So, who do you think's three fight win streak's going to end? I, I, I personally am going to go for uh, Jorge Rivera because uh, I was watching a wee thing and he basically says he's, he's back in the game, you know what I mean? He, he's saying, I'm now back in the game. So he's, he thinks he's got his head right 
He's got the tools. Let's get it on. I'm I'm going to choose him as well. I think I, I think he will. Of course, I knock just him out. Why, you know? Master Wang is my hero. Is that our sponsors? Hey, hey, Master Wang here. This is the Go Fast Sports Competition. The question is. Which fantastic energy beverage company sponsors the real MMA show for your chance to win a Go Fast goodie bag? Just write it in the comments or on the website. We'll know him to Scotland. Hey man, where did you get that great t-shirt? Why, www.countrymansfist.com. Get yours there. For your fix of MMA, hit the pit. MMAHitPit.com Oh! Welcome back. Check them out. MMAShow.info Check out the fantastic Countryman's Fist Go Fast MMA Hit Pit for your alternative source of info. Nice one. Okay, well last fight there we, we said that that was probably going to be a stand-up war. But I think we're moving on now to another stand-up war. Dennis Silver versus Andrew Winner. I think this is going to be a good fight. Andrew Winner's been suffering recently. Forced to fight grapplers and he lost his last fight due to that. I like that. Forced to fight grapplers. This is MMA, baby. This is MMA. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, he's got his wish this time in that he's fighting Dennis Silva. Although, what I will say is, though, this guy is really good. I think he will struggle against him. He beat Spencer Fisher. And if it wasn't for Ross Pearson, he'd been a five-fight win streak. He's got a kind of unorthodox striking technique which is very uh, unsettling for a lot of people. He doesn't come out with your standard Thai style striking. He has some, he's got some spinning back kicks and some serious yeah. crazy stuff. He's got the flicky kicks and that. So I, I really enjoy seeing him because he's slightly different. No, I mean his main style is different, and because of that, and he's obviously his fantastic winning streak and his war against um, a friend of the show. Ross Pearson, yeah, well name drop, you better believe it. Um, I'm going to go for the German, he's also in the home territory. I'm also going to go Dennis Silva, I think he's a more compact, stronger, harder hitter, so I'm going to go Dennis Silva. Loving the variety you're giving the fans this month, James. Uh, fight four is Krzysztof Zosinski versus Goran Relic. Okay, the Polish experiment versus Goran Relic. Now Gordon Relic, his last two fights have been at middleweight, which he lost against CB Dolloway and also who was the other guy for Kendall Grove. Lost his last two fights at that. He's decided he's coming back. He's moving up to light heavy again and he's fighting Christoph Szczynski. And I think for that reason he'll lose. Szczynski is a really big light heavyweight. Very solid. And if Gordon Relic can come up and down between the two, he's obviously not at the top end of 205. So for that reason I think he's going to get out muscled in. Shuzinski is, as you say, he's strong, he's big, but when he goes in at 205, there's no meat on and him he, at and all. And he's got a Kimura. And he's got a Kimura, he's got crushing strength, he's got crushing strength. He's also changed his nationality, obviously he was known as the Polish experiment, but if you look at his record, he's always fought under Canada. He's now fighting under Poland, because it's next door to Germany and the UFC want the figures. Uh, exactly. oh, it's the old, the old but I do think that, even though he's changed his nationality for this fight, he is going to win. Uh, Goran Relic, I think, is Croatian, um, but that's not going to help him. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think Szczynski, he's fought the better guys at 205. He's fought Bonner twice, his last two fights. He's also, well, we lost to, uh, to Vera, but Vera is a really clinical striker. But I, I see Szczynski taking this guy apart. Maybe not with clinical striking, but just hard hitting. Yep. So I'm going to go Szczynski TKO. Szczynski TKO. Unlike us to agree like that, but. It right. can happen sometime. These people have heard it here. This is the MMA show. Check it out, mmashow.info. Okay, here we are for some MMA news now. If you don't want to get the MMA news on our website, which you can, mmashow.info, you can get it here right now.